now if you want to change the color of the lightning bar we can change it by using us and the icon name follows some format the value should be the like a hello everyone and welcome back to our series on base lightning component in salesforce lwc in part one we broke down the input components category you learned about essential components like lightning input lightning text area and lightning combo box if you missed that video the link is right down in the description go check it out today we are diving into our next major category display components we will cover three fundamental components you will use constantly lightning card lightning badge and lightning icon lightning card think as a card it's a way to group similar type of information into a visually distinct block they are crucial for readability and organization here you can see that i have opened the opportunity record page on the right side you can see the quote block it is visually seeing a distinct block from other content in our code page and you can see there is a header title and footer so a lightning card typically contains three core structural areas the header the body and the footer this ready-made layout make it the developers go to tool for structured data presentation let's start with the basic card structure lightning card is the main tag which we use in the lightning card tag we can pass the attributes such as title or icon name so first of all we will pass the title attribute in the title we can set the header text of the card let's save it and refresh here you can see that our card header part only after that inside the lightning card you need to pass their body for the body you can use any element like e div it's based on your requirement now for the footer we use special slot attribute the attribute name is the slot which has the value of footer you can use this attribute on any element like p or div tag the design of the footer is based on your designing requirement so based on that designing requirement you can use div element or paragraph element or any element here we are using the p tag and we need to pass a slot attribute which will contain a value footer let's save it and refresh now you can see that this is our card and in the card you can see the header title body and the footer next let's make it look more professional by adding an icon and action here you can see that icon is added and there is also an action so for the icon we can use the icon name attribute which uses the salesforce lighting design system naming convention like standard colon announcement the icon is displayed automatically using a lightning icon component which we will cover next as it's a separate topic on icons for the icon we can use the icon name attribute on lightning card this icon name uses slds to display automatically using an lightning icon component this lightning icon component which we will cover next as it's a separate topic on icons we can get the icon from lightning design system website here this is our icon and now we are using this announcement icon in the icon name you need to pass first family name here it's a family name is the standard and here our icon name will come announcement let's save it and refresh you can see that our icon is aligned on the top left to add actions like a button we use a slot action attribute on the element we use the components like lightning button or lightning button icon or custom button or lightning button menu actions are uh, aligned on the top right in the header like this one we will use lightning button menu tag and here we need to pass a slot attribute in the lightning button menu and this slot attribute value will be the actions inside the lightning button menu we will create a menu items and in the lighting menu item we need to pass two attribute one is the value and another is a label here in the value we will pass a new and in the label which will display on the ui we will pass a new we will create one more menu item pass value label as a refresh let's save it and refresh here you can see that it's a action button is showing and when, when we click menu item it's showing here now we will look card footer so here you can see that in the card footer it's showing the hyperlink here we can also add the hyperlink only one thing is that we need to use a slot footer here i will make a div and in the div we will pass slot footer so now this whole div will now this whole div treat as a 
footer. Here we will pass a hyperlink, anchor tag, save it and refresh. Now you can see that hyperlink in the footer. Now we will look at two advanced options, customizing the title and hiding the header. Let's focus on the title customization. If you need to make your title more dynamic, maybe change its color or include multiple components on the header, you can use the slot title on any element such as div or p instead of using the title attribute on the lightning card. Here we will use the h3 tag and this is our title text. Here you need to pass the slot attribute and its value will be the title. Now for the styling, right now I will do the inline styling and changing the color of the text. Let's save it, refresh. Now you can see that the title text color is changed. If you want to hide the header of the lightning card, simply use the hide header boolean attribute on the lightning card. Here you need to pass hide header attribute to hide the title of our card. Let's save it, refresh and you can see that our card hider is hidden now. So this is all about the our lightning card. Now we will see the lightning badge 1. Moving on to lightning badge, this component is a small non-interactive label. It's designed to display a potent information like a status or a category. Here we have a lightning badge tag and few attributes like a label like a name icon position which we can pass. Let's make a lightning badge now. We have a tag, lightning badge. In the lightning badge, we can pass attributes like label. Label it will be display on the badge in progress. And we can also pass icon name. And in the icon name, we are passing right now standard announcement. And where icon will be shown. It's a left on the label or right on the label. So in the icon position, you can pass two values, one is a start and another is a end. If you pass end value, then it will show at the right of the label. Let's save it and refresh. Here you can see that this is our lightning badge and the icon is showing on the end of the lightning badge. If you pass the start value in the icon position, it will be showing icon at the start of the lightning badge. Now if you want to change the color of the lightning badge, we can change it by using a standard SLDS classes and custom CSS classes as well. For a standard SLDS classes, here we need to pass a class like SLDS-theme success. SLDS theme success for a green success color. Let's save it and refresh. Now it is showing your lightning badge in the green color. Now we can also make a custom CSS class like if you want to give the color black to this lightning badge we can make a custom CSS class. For that custom badge we will make this class in our CSS file. Here you can pass two values. One is the background of the badge another is the text color of the badge. For the background you need to pass SLDS hyphen C hyphen badge color background. Here I am passing the background color is as a black. And now for the text color which we are showing on the badge, I will show the white. The SLDS hyphen C hyphen badge. Its text color it will be white. Let's save it and refresh. Now you can see that our lightning badge is showing in the black color and its text is a white. So by using custom CSS you can change the badge color. Now our final uh, topic in the display component is the lightning icon. Lightning icon is the component that render every single icon in the Salesforce lightning design system. For icons, we use the lightning icon tag and the icon name is the required attribute which we need to pass in the lightning icon tag. And the icon name follows some format. The value should be the like a family colon icon name. This is the official website of the lightning design system and it's the icon page. Here the common families are utility. It's a object. We can say that it's a standard or custom object and the family will be the standard or custom. Here it's the action. It's a use for a button and menus. 
and doc type. Doc type is used for a file types. There are few things which we can use on the icon like a control the size using a size attribute. Let's move to the implementation now. Here we will and in the icon name in the icon name attribute you need to pass a value in some format. In the utility if we see the account icon now. So here the family is the utility and icon name is the account. So we will pass utility colon it's a icon name it's a account let's save it so here you can see that icon utility icon now if we will move another icon like object which we use earlier in this video like a standard colon and we use the activation we can use account anyone here now for the size you can pass the size attribute like size can be a small medium or large here we will pass a large value as a size and save refresh and you can see that now our icon is showing large for another like for another families let's do quickly for the standard you can pass announcement another is we can use also action and in the action we are using the new let's save it and refresh here you can see that there are three icons now showing it this is one is the action this is the our standard and it's our utility so you can explore the icons here and families as well that's all in this video in the next video we will see data component navigation component and others lightning component as well stay tuned subscribe